Demonization, double standards, delegitimization. The three Ds, it is a responsibility of us all to stand up to them. And I know, by the way, because I have the bruises to show for it, that whether it is at the United Nations or any other international forum, the easiest thing to do is simply to just get along and go along with this anti-Israeli rhetoric, to pretend it is just about being even-handed and to excuse oneself with the label of honest broker. There are, after all, a lot more votes, a lot more, in being anti-Israeli than in taking a stand. But as long as I am Prime Minister, whether it is at the United Nations, the Francophonie, or anywhere else, Canada will take that stand, whatever the cost. And friends, I say this not just because it is the right thing to do, but because history shows us and the ideology of the anti-Israeli mob tells us all too well if we listen to it that those who threaten the existence of the Jewish people are a threat to all of us. Israel is my people's homeland, our people's homeland. It is a place that we have waited for for thousands of years. And now that we finally have it, we have to keep it, we have to cherish it, because it is truly a precious, precious country and a precious land for our heritage. I love Israel because that's where my family is. I love Israel because of the culture. Everybody can, you know, walk freely with their um, Jewish pride and it's just a great environment and I hope to be there one day. I love Israel because it was a direct gift from God. This is a very simple question for me after so many years of seeing such the great things that Israel does for the world it is very difficult for me not to love Israel. I love Israel because it's our homeland. I love Israel because it is where the Jews belong. So what am I doing here in Boca Raton? Boy, do I not have an answer. I love Israel because it is so nice to see so many Jews in one place. Um, I love Israel because the Israelis they're wonderful people. You always feel safe around them and you know whoever like Roz if anyone knows Roz I love Israel because it snows there. I love Israel because it's good to know that we have a homeland to go to. Israel is amazing because if you go to Israel you can see like the actual land that we talk about in Chumash and Navi class and the land that Abraham walked across and it's and like you go to Hebron and you can see like where Yaakov and all our all the Imaho and Avod are buried and it's just so awesome. I love Israel because it's the Jewish people's homeland and it's always a place where we could go back to. We love Israel because it's just uh, it's an amazing place to be. I have, we all have family there, we love our family and it's just a beautiful country. First I was born there, I'm a Sava, I was born uh, with the state of Israel and uh, so it's my home and uh, I cannot part from from it. I love Israel because I've never been there before and I want to go there so I can be spiritually enlightened. Thank you for asking me this question, but the question should be why do I love the United States? Not why I love Israel. Why I love Israel is a given that I love Israel. There is no complete answer except for the fact that I belong in Israel, we belong in Israel, Israel is our home. It's like asking why do you love your home? You know why you love your home. Why am I here? Because Hashem wants me here. I have a job here and when he's ready for me to move back home, that's where I'll be. I love Israel because I know that when I walk on the ground, it's the ground that my forefathers once walked on. I love Israel because Israel is a place of home for Jews and I'm Jewish. Israel is our homeland. It's a place where all Jews are safe no matter what. And it's amazing to know that we have this special place that is rooted back to the times of Tanakh and creation. That's a great question. I love Israel because it's the home of the Jewish people. Home. home. I love Israel because there's absolutely no reason not to love Israel. Israel's Independence Day is a time for us to consider what makes Israel truly unique. Israel is unique in restoring sovereignty and the capacity for self-defense to a people who had been stateless and powerless for 2,000 years. Israel is unique in, in gathering to an ancestral homeland and exiled people who had been scattered around the globe. Israel is unique in having become a global technological power despite the fact that we face threats faced by no other nation on earth. Israel is unique in the Middle East for having a vibrant liberal democracy where women are equal, minorities are free, and where all are subjects to the rule of law. But Israel is unique in one other important way. We are unique in having such passionate friends, Jews and non-Jews alike,
for whom the well-being, security, and future of our country is so important. This passionate support, along with Israel's strong army, free economy, and dynamic society, is the pillar of our national strength. And this Independence Day, I want to thank the tens of millions of friends of Israel throughout the world for their unwavering support for the one and only Jewish state.